our closing service of the day. The close of the day service on page 298. Our hymn will be hymn 880. And our reading from the small catechism will be the sacrament of holy baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks unto the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Slumbers may 
the sacrament of holy baptism. As the head of the family should teach it in a simple way to his household. First, what is baptism? Baptism is not just plain water, but it is the water included with God's command and combined with God's word. Which is that word of God? Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Second, what benefits do baptism give? Does baptism give? It works the forgiveness of sins, rescues from death and the devil, and gives eternal salvation to all who believe this, as the words and promises of God declared. Which are these words and promises of God? Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Mark, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Third, how can water do such great things? Certainly not just water, but the Word of God in and with the water does these, these things, along with the faith which trusts this Word of God in the water. For without God's Word, the water is plain water and no baptism. But with the Word of God, it is a baptism. That is, the life-giving water rich in grace and washing of the new birth of the Holy Spirit, as St. Paul says in Titus chapter 3. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us graciously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by His grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. Fourth, what does such baptizing with water indicate? It indicates that the old Adam in us, by daily contrition and repentance, be drowned and die with all sins and evil desires, and that a new man should daily emerge and arise to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. Where is this written? St. Paul writes in Romans chapter 6, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may have new life. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My eyes, my own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We confess the Apostles' Creed, the creed of the true Christian faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence He will come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me of all of my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, dear Christians, go to sleep at once and in good cheer, knowing that when you sleep, you sleep in the comfort of your baptism, and when you awake, you awake in the newness of that same baptism. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.